This recording is to show you how to create a new process model within the Aris Business Architect. Here we're at the home page and I'm going to click on the Explorer module and I have already opened the local database. We're actually going to create a brand new database so that we can start from scratch on our own platform. Let's call this the Acme Company and I like to make my Aris repositories versionable. So we will create that database and it will create a default main group within that database. Then we'll create a couple of uh, subfolders or subgroups within that database and that's where we'll place, place our process models. So let's expand that database or that Aris repository and we'll get to our main group. We access context sensitive menus by right clicking. So we now have our main group here. We're actually going to rename that group so that it's also called Acme. Then we'll create a couple of subgroups under here and we'll call one organization and we'll call the other one processes. So let's go first to the organization folder create a new org chart. So we right click, select model, and here in this menu we can shorten that filter. Actually we should select our organizations just so we can get all the process models available. Select our organizational chart and we'll call this organization chart. We're going to make something very simplified just for the purposes of having something to link to from another process model. I'll click on symbols in order to get our symbol palette. But actually what I'm going to do is use a smart design feature. So I could just drag an element here from the symbol palette and for example click on the canvas and I could call this uh, accounts payable. But what I can also do is select Smart Design, which is this little icon here that appears to show a small grid. And that allows me to, click, to create several items at once in a spreadsheet-like format. So here I'm going to have an organizational unit. We'll call this one, um, say, Invoice Team, and then the subgroup below it will be invoice receivable and then we'll have invoice approval and that's it I will delete actually you know what let's click on accounts payable tie it to the invoice team and this group is superior you can see obviously that that doesn't look very nice we can click on the arrange menu and it will automatically arrange the layout for us at least make a best effort that looks pretty good and so we will save that let's go back to our explorer module now create a new process model within our processes folder so I right click, select new and model and again we have uh, our Aris house. We can select all of these just so we can see what all of the process models are. There are over 150 process, models type, process model types because in this case I'm logged in as system and with the full uh, event method, method filter. So I'm going to select an EPC model and let's call it the invoice validation process. Click OK. And here we will start out with an event, EPC or event driven process models always start and end with an event. So in this case, let's say we have invoice received. We follow that with a function. 
and because we were actually selecting an object on the process canvas, when I selected the function uh, from the symbol palette, then it automatically creates a link. And here it allows you the radio button to, to determine which direction that link should occur, either from the event to the function or from the function to the event. So this is the sequence that we want. So once we uh, receive the invoice, we want to validate the invoice. And at this point, we'll, we can use the little uh, context menu that's available, and we can go to a rule, in this ca case an exclusive OR rule, based on the result of the validation. Now we're going to go to two events, and in this case we'll have one event, and we'll say that invoice validation passed. Go back to our OR rule and another event here saying invoice validation failed. Under each of these, we're going to have a function. So as you can see, this is the typical sequence, event function, event function. And so we're going to send a failed invoice failed validation message. And we want to do the same thing on the past side. When you have a split in a process, you also have to have, well, typically you have a join unless you are ending the process. So here we want to join back, and since we split with an exclusive OR, we need to join with an exclusive OR. We'll go back to, and here I can just hover over the object, and you can see that the pointer changes, and I can just click and drag the connection. So here we'll go from our exclusive OR now, finally, to our end event and we'll call this um, invoice validation message sent. At this point our process model is done. We'll do an arranged layout so we can get a better look uh, at our process. And now we want to add one data element to this, or, or metadata element, in this case the organizational unit that's involved in these processes. So I'll just add one, and I go over to the right hand side, click the organizational unit, and um, I didn't want to actually do this for the invoice validation uh, sent event, so let me hit escape here. And uh, I could do it, however, for, or for this particular function, which is what I wanted. So I select that function, I click on organizational unit, and it creates a link for it. So I could say this organizational unit carries out the send invoice message. So I'll click here. Now what I can do is I could just type the first couple of letters and then do a search within my ARIS repository for any objects that have a similar uh, initial name. So in this case, I can just type the letters IN. I'll click on these three dots, and it will show me the other items in my repository that start with the letters IN. So in this case, I have invoice approval, receival, and the invoice team. So in this case, let's call this the invoice approval team is responsible for carrying out this step. We'll click OK, and we're done there. Now, what I'd like to do, again, I could do another arrange layout so I can get that to look better with proper spacing. And now I can create an assignment to this invoice approval step and connect it back to the organizational chart which I created previously. So in order to do that, I right click on the object, click on assignments, and here I get to a quick wizard in order to make that assignment. So I want to create a new assignment to this object. I want to connect it to an existing model. 
I tell it what kind of model I want to connect it to. In this case, it's organizational chart. I click on Next, and then it asks me what process model I want to assign it to. So I could navigate my Aris repository. I want to tie it to the organization chart. I click on Finish, and it's done. We click OK, and you can see now I have a link underneath here, or an assignment, to another process model. So once I open this process model, the EPC, Invoice Validation Process, I can double click on Invoice Approval, and I could see that the Invoice Approval is a part of the Invoice Team, and it reports ultimately to the Accounts Payable. That ends the recording.